you know, it's unusual for a comedy team to come on because it's a the comedy the, team that weighs the same. That it was that was one of the favorite things I've ever done. Tom, Tom and I came on your uh, on the show and we pitched. That's what we wanted to do. We want <laughs> wanted to appear as the comedy team that weighs the same. Yeah. And Tom and I were within about eight pounds of each other. <laughs> and so that we we worked very hard to get exactly the same weight. I had no idea you actually had to to to, to achieve you know, a steam bath, running, push ups, sweatpants, anything to get to the same. That weight. was me. I had to lose weight, and Tom had to gain mm -hmm. weight. Mm -hmm. And we decided to do this a few weeks before, like three weeks before. And I didn't check in with him until like a few days out, and he hadn't gained any weight. <laughs> Well, there you go. And, and he, you know, Tom was pretty slender and he just went, well, how do you gain weight? I don't know how to gain weight. Yeah. So and I go, well, eat, eat waffles, eat, you know. <laughs> and so, well, we got exactly, exactly the same weight. And so we did a weigh in. We, we wore robes mm -hmm. and underneath we had uh, Speedos. Yeah. And we did a weigh in, we weighed exactly the same. And you asked us if there are any funny stories from being the comedy <laughs> team weighs the same. And well, uh, yeah, we just went to uh, a state fair and you know, the guy who guesses your weight, <laughs> he saw us uh, coming and he couldn't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> that was, that was, uh, the kind of joke that you and I like. In a world which one would think there's room for all manner of comedy, would anybody do that or that kind of bit today? The comedy team that weighs the same, you're not going to see that anywhere now, are you? I don't know. I mean, there are a lot of people doing very conceptual comedy, so I'm, I'm not sure about that, but you just don't see many teams there was another mm -hmm. joke in this where you go like, has any other comedy team weighed the same? And I said, well, you know, Stiller and Mira claimed they weighed the same, <laughs> but they never proved it. Thank you very much. Paul Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen, and the orchestra. My first guests have been on this program several times before. You may remember them as writers and performers for the original Saturday Night Live. They can currently be seen in the motion picture trading places. And in September, they will also be featured in their own special on Showtime. They have requested that tonight they be introduced as the comedy team that weighs the same. So, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> please welcome the comedy team that weighs the same, Al Franken and Tom Davis. First of all, gentlemen, thank you for being here. Uh, you look good. Uh, how do you feel? Everything okay? We're real up. Very yeah. excited. Very yeah. uh, positive about things. Yeah, because yeah. I, I guess the last time you were here, you were a little... We were down, Yeah. but we're feeling real good. We're... Uh... Really bounced back. Yeah. yeah. Good yeah. for you. Uh-huh. Uh, shall we get right to it? The, the comedy team that weighs the same. What right. does what does that mean exactly? Well, it means just we, what it says. We weigh the same. We each weigh about 168 pounds. Oh, I see. So you weigh the same as each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I lost about uh, about 17, 18 pounds, and Tom's gained about. Thank you. And uh, Tom's gained about six, so we weigh the same. Yeah. And uh, it's it's our new handle. Kind yeah. of a uh, well, gimmick. Well, you know, uh, every really successful comedian has got a handle, like uh, Steve Martin is a wild and crazy guy. And, right. Uh, right. you know, Rodney Dangerfield doesn't get any respect. Uh huh. And you're the comedy team that weighs the same. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Huh. Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's beginning to come together we now. I feel really, uh, really positive about with the movie debut uh, in Trading Places and uh, the new handle. We just think that our careers turned the corner, finally. Yeah. <laughs> so we're very up. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, the reason you're in the robes, I guess, is? Well, uh, it's one thing 
to say that you're the comedy team that weighs the same, but it's quite another to prove mm -hmm. that, that we each weigh the same, and that's exactly what we intend to do here tonight. Right. All right. You, it, it would now be a good time to let's go over there? Let's do it. Okay. We're going over here to make it certain it's kind of their pledge to you, the audience, okay. that uh, this is for real. Uh, are, are there any other comedy teams that weigh the same? Um, Stiller and Mira, supposedly. <laughs> Supposedly weigh the same, but they've never had to uh, uh, submit to an on-camera really weigh-in. Weigh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, ironically, uh, Laurel and Hardy weighed the same, but that was just the last two weeks before Ollie died, actually. <laughs> right at the very end. There. <laughs> All right. Tom is 160... Looks like 167, right on the money. Is that yeah. what you get, Tom? Yeah, that's what I get. Okay. Uh, well, uh, a little more than 167. Okay, now, I should point out before yeah. I get on here. All right, 167.5. Plus. Five. Yeah, 167. That by the comedy team that weighs the same, we mean within a pound. Okay. Let me okay. Well, I, I, think, uh, yeah. I think that's fair enough. Yeah, yeah. that's right, because, uh, David, as, as you probably know from your own experience, you, uh, you can gain or lose a pound with... Uh, you know, bodily excretions or additions of uh, yeah. bodily fluid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anytime we fluctuate take all the time. Yeah. So a pound. Okay. And Al, Al Franken, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. 167. 167. Al Franken is 160, yeah. just shy of 167, easily. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the comedy team that weighs the same, they've proven it. Uh, we're going to pause for a commercial. We'll be back to talk more with them. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you, folks. We're back uh, with uh, Al Franken and Tom Davis. Uh, an historic night for us, the comedy team that weighs the same. That was very impressive, gentlemen. Thank you. How, Thank you. how long have you been weighing the same? I, we've weighed the same for about a week. Yeah, that's exciting. And uh, uh, a lot of preparation go into getting the weights down or up? or who, You came down. I came down about 20, and he had no idea what is fattening, so uh -huh. I was his trainer, yeah. and we got him up about six pounds. That's exciting. Yeah. Now, uh, I've been full for two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any uh, interesting uh, or funny stories that have happened to you since you've been the... Well, as a matter of fact, uh, we went to a carnival last weekend, and uh, you know the guy who can tell what your weight is just uh -huh. by looking at you? Well. <laughs> When Al and I walked up, he just about fell off his stool. <laughs> <laughs> True story. That's True story. great. Yeah. We that's had those silly grins on our faces, yeah, you know. And that's just great. Couldn't handle it. No. Uh, now, you guys are in this uh, motion picture, uh, the runaway blockbuster hit of the decade. Trading Evidently, it's a big hit, yeah. trading places. Uh, it's gross. Well, what about... 20 million so far. Uh, so far. It hasn't even been out two weeks. Yeah, yeah. that's very impressive. Yeah. Uh, and uh, a lot of times when guys are in films, they'll get a piece of the gross. Right. Well, that happens a lot. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, did, uh, did you guys, do you have a piece of the gross? No, we have uh, kind of small parts in this, but. Uh, yeah. Well, in the next film, we'll have piece of it, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's good. What, uh, is that all lined up? You know what that's going to be? Uh, no, we no. have nothing no. <laughs> lined up, but yeah. we're sure we'll get some piece of the action on the uh, Yeah, action. well, yeah, like you said, it looks like you really have turned the corner. Yeah, do the success of this. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Yeah. Now, uh, do you want to talk a little bit about what you play in the film, or, or the sure, film itself, well, and working with the, the Well, folks? as you know, it uh, stars uh, uh, our good friend Danny. That's Dan Aykroyd, of course. Dan Aykroyd, yeah. And uh, Eddie was uh, just brilliant. Uh -huh. in this film, uh, Eddie, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it was a great opportunity to uh, work with someone as talented as, as uh, John. It's John Landis. Uh, John Landis, right. Director. He would be the director yeah. of the film, sure. Yeah. And uh, now, uh, do you guys, do you have a, uh, a what do you call it? A, uh, we have a clip. We like to, uh, of, of our, op the first scene that we're in now. Um, when we first got the scripts, in the script, it said uh, stoned baggage handler number one and stoned baggage handler number two. So in this scene we're going to show, uh, we're supposed, in the, in the script originally said we're smoking a joint. So 
Thank you very much. Anyway, uh, uh, so we figured uh, we play it stoned, which we could do. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> and and uh, the call, there was a 7 a.m. call for us every day, and we uh, had to be in costume and makeup at 7. So we get there at 6, which is early, very early, especially for Tom. And uh, we get there and get in the costume, and at 7 a.m. we go to our trailers and go to sleep. You see, we, we mm -hmm. figured that uh, when they needed us, they'd just come and wake us up, and then we'd be yeah. sleepy, which is like being stoned. Yeah, see? Well, so that's, sure, that's great. This uh, is our professional acting approach uh, yeah. to, uh, <laughs> to being stone baggage handlers. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, it, it, uh, so we'd go to sleep around 7, and then about noon, they'd knock on the door and say, lunch, uh -huh. and we'd eat lunch. And uh, then like three or four, we'd go back to sleep yeah. after mm -hmm. lunch. And then uh, at three or four, they'd come and wake us up, and then we'd shoot whatever little scene that we were doing before everybody went home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so then, so method act. This is great. This yeah. is like actors' workshop kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, it? any of you are going to have uh, minor parts in films. This is something to know. Yeah. So we were shooting out a sequence. By the time we got to the scene we're about to show, they had already. Uh, j John decided that there already was a scene where someone was smoking a, uh, a joint. It was Eddie, and that. He didn't want too many mm -hmm. scenes like that. So we aren't smoking a joint in the scene. So instead of stoned baggage handlers, we're just dumb baggage handlers okay. in the movie. And so then you kind of added that, well, a little bit. It was also the director's decision. Now, do we want to look at this now, sir? Okay. I don't uh, know if we can. Yeah, we'd be happy to see a, a portion of uh, you guys in action uh, in trading places. This would be the comedy team that weighs the same, ladies and gentlemen, in a fine motion picture. The comedy team that weighs the same. I think I should mention that, that we did not weigh the same. At that time, no. no, that no, no. So you could be confused. Yeah. Also, you can probably see why we didn't get a piece of the gross. That oh, was no. uh, a fine job. A yeah. fine job. And, and that was Paul Gleason in there making fun of the ape. Fun of the ape. And thanks for, for sharing uh, your new handle with us, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Al Franken and Tom Davis. A comedy team that weighs the same. We'll be right back, folks.